aka Eileen Lil Craft the additional information about this show, arts cards, and everything in between can be found on my website, Eileen the Little Craft.com. Thank you everybody for joining me today. I hope that you have enjoyed the podcast. Um, today I have a very special guest with me, Mr. David San Jose, my partner in crime. Hey honey. Hey honey, how are you? I am good. How are you? Tired. <clears throat> it's the story of your life. <laughs> Um, okay, so guys, uh, I am still working on the blog posts. I know, forgive me for that. Um, what else? Uh, I have a bunch of videos coming up and on the air. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, go to either Eileen the Little Crafter or go to YouTube and catch the Little Crafter show. Um, so today we are going to be, t- oh wait, and I want to wish, because today is, uh, birthday week, uh, my dad, my two cousins, Layla and... Pete, a happy birthday. Yes, three. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Swamp Thing, DC Universe's Swamp Thing, which is their streaming service. So, your first uh, initial reaction to... Uh, oh, I thought it was going to suck. Yeah, we... we, we it got my attention. We watched the trailer, and I'm going to admit, the first time that we watched the trailer, I... Like, I, I first told them, because I was doing a, an initial watch, I'm call it about it, um, about some different shows, and it didn't catch my eye. I honestly, I didn't like it. I showed it to David, and as you can see, like me. <laughs> we'll put it in the, what was it? We'll put it in the, maybe pile. the maybe pile. <laughs> I got nothing else to watch. And it turned into, is it Friday yet? Is it Friday yet? Yeah, it aired on Friday, so we definitely were like, is it Friday yet? Is it Friday yet? And it aired one episode per week. I think it was 10, 10 or 12 episodes. 10, 10 episodes. Okay, so 10 episodes. Um, For like two months they had us. <laughs> Waiting. Every week. Okay. okay, so out of a possible 10, what do you think? I think it was a strong 9. A strong 9. Why only a 9? Nothing. Nothing's is nothing's a ten except your 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 Friday the Thirteenth or uh, Freddy Krueger movies, except for Jason Takes Man. Yeah. <laughs> that was the wonkiest one. <laughs> and I think Jason Ten X to X. Nah, even that was better than Manhattan. <laughs> but anyway, guys. All right. So, um, how do I put this? Okay, if you guys don't know the story or something, it's kind of a retelling. Um, it's more darker, grittier of... Yes, it is darker and grittier. I don't remember the original story. All I remember was a doctor that had an explosion in his lab. And next thing you know, he's Swamp Thing. That's all I remember from when I was a kid, anyway. And apparently, um, David is the one that reminded me that there was a Swamp Thing cartoon. Yeah. And I was like, what? I had to find it on YouTube and show her. I could not, for the life of me, remember watching a Swamp Thing cartoon. I remember watching Gem and the Holograms. I remembered other things, but Swamp Thing was not one of them. So, I was very, like, shocked. But we watched, I think, maybe one episode. I was like, okay, we're good. All right. So, um, what? who do you think is, like, your favorite character? Like, who do you think, you know, stood out the most and you wanted to know more about that particular person? I would say it would be the main characters, Abby and uh, Holland. Holland, yeah. Oh, something. Something, aka something. Yeah, um, call them something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a monster. Or, yeah, that's true. They never did call um something. Um. Okay. So I am a huge kind of geeky person. Um, I was really shocked. I forgot what episode, but one of the original cast members Amazing, from right? from Swamp Thing. What, what was it? I think it was Adrian something. I'm horrible with names, guys. Please forgive me. If you could remember the name, please uh, link it down below in the comments. Um, and I'm like, you got don't, don't you remember? And he's like, Her? I literally was like googling it, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember the original series. Yeah. No, that wasn't a series. It was. It, was it a series? It was a movie. It was a movies and a series, wasn't it? I think it was a series. I'm not 100% sure, but I remember in the second movie, Heather Locklear um, played the love interest. Uh, 
and it was definitely a different t- a tale of it. Um, let me see where I put the phone down. Would it be better? Because I'm holding it up like a... <laughs> um, all right, guys. So what I was saying was um, it's a lot darker. It's a lot grittier than anything you've ever seen. Probably not, maybe not even... That's not what I meant to say about in, in, in terms of this one thing. Um, but it even kind of, um, I don't know if it's milder than the comics. Because sometimes the comics can be a little dark. Uh, so, Abby is basically ostracized from her town where she grew up from. Um, she has pretty much a dark secret of her own. So, Abby to me, even though one thing is, is, is the main character and everybody wants to know... And more about the green. Um, I actually wanted to know more about Abby because... Yeah, what happened? Why she went to live with that guy? Uh, what's his name? Holland. Not Holland. Not Holland. Avery. Avery, thank you. Um, so, yeah. So, she basically uh, had a best friend. and That was Avery and Maria Sunderland's daughter. Mm-hmm. I forgot the name. Yeah, no, okay, you're right. And uh, so there was some type of accident, and they blamed Abby for it, but Abby did everything she possibly could, you know, yeah. and she tried to... They so let you know that real later, in, like in the middle of the series. Yeah. Yeah, so I apologize if we're giving a lot away, guys, uh, if you have not caught up yet, but definitely catch up. Um, so moving right along... Uh, so you also find out the whole reason why Abby is an orphan. And apparently it seems that she has some special ability and some type of darkness wanted to get her. So the way they kind of left it off was they don't know whether or not if if it was something really after her or an imaginary friend. That basically it, it prompted her mother to hurt herself and leave Abby an orphan um so you know there's a lot to me I would have loved um I, I always forget madam I forget her 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 last name but the the old the older lady the oh I don't remember with the blind name uh, the blind the blind lady no, I don't remember. Uh, she basically is a kind of like psychic or whatever and the blue the blue devil was in it for a little bit then iron z ring from 90210 which I kind of was like oh why is he there when they're announcing uh well, the, the job I told you they're not even gonna make another swamp thing no more so yeah so apparently guys I've Next. caught wind of uh that they're counseling swamp thing and there's a lot of different things going on I, I don't know what to say and I just found out something else um, so I'm going to give you what everybody's speculating on here on the web. Um, apparently Swamp Thing is too expensive to make. Um, apparently the viewership wasn't all that great. Um, apparently the other thing that I heard was that the DC Universe streaming service basically is tanking, which I kind of can see that because I don't see... Especially if they want to give you one episode a week and... There's nothing new, and a lot of the stuff is old. Yeah, I can... And who wants to read comic books on the screen? I have to stand right there at the TV. Well, you can actually... No, it's not only on your TV. Remember, you can get it on your tablet. You can get it on your computer. So people can have other options than reading on your TV. Okay, I forgot about that. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I know. I know you're tired. I apologize. Come on the side. Come on the side. <laughs> oh, grumpy one. <laughs> you're forgiven this time. Oh, gee, thanks. But anyway, guys. Um, so I don't really mind terribly the one per week episode because it kind of gives you something to look forward to. But I do mind the fact that they really don't have any um. New content. Uh, there's a lot of content that it gives you, like, it It kind of reminds me, like, of an anime. Like, you know, like, 10 or 12 episodes and then cut. And then another 
season comes up and then you're like, okay, well, you know, so I kind of feel like the only thing that's holding me together and holding me off, um, because I was kind of hoping for a season two was kind of, um, uh, Young Justice Outsiders in the middle of, um, Swamp Thing they were giving on Tuesdays, they were giving, uh, one episode per week, that, and then on Fridays you will get that, and then we were waiting for Titans to come on, but in terms of, like, new content, like, animated, um, stuff that we thought, I was kind of hoping that they would bring about, never happened, and it, it seems like there's stuff coming in the woodworks, but I kind of feel like it's not, I don't want to say fast enough, because I know that it takes time to make really good quality, you know, programming, but I'm hoping that, you know, in, in the process that this, this, this thing does not tank. So what do you think? Do you think it's going to tank? Do you think, uh, the maybe? System, if it keeps up the way it's doing, yeah. It's not going to go. <laughs> because they got Netflix to compete with. They mm-hmm. got Hulu. They got all, all those other services. No, Disney's coming up. I hear Disney's Man, coming up. Screw Disney. Hey. Not a curse. And if Disney's listening, shove it. Um, he's not a Disney fan. Um, what else is? Go back to the Swamp Thing. Okay, so what do you think of Swamp Thing? What did you? I like the the, the story about how the they were contaminating the swamp, and the the guy that got hired to like what was it he was hired to do? Measure the levels in the swamp or something. Mm-hmm. He stumbled upon something and he saw that they were doing something else, and he's like, and then they fire him for that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then they end up killing him. Yeah. And they make swamp thing. So technically, they they created the swamp thing, and and the green um basically was like. Now we have our defender. Yeah. Now we have our defender. I love the character that they played that the the wicked doctor I always forget the doctor's name. Oh, I forgot to act his name, but he was in the strain. He was in the strain. He was in some, some other stuff. He was in he Walking was the, Tall. He was one of the bad guys in Walking Tall. Tall. He was, yeah. Um what else? He was the guy in the cage that they, they were ripping up his truck. Yeah. Right, in the Walking Tall, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, now I remember him, yeah. Yeah. No, he is amazing. His Russian accent was amazing. Um, his, um... Because it's kind of weird because he... In, in, in Walking Tall, he was kind of heavier set. And um, in The Strain, he was kind of built with a really... Mu- thick accent. Uh, thick accent. I believed him because he sound legit from that, that part of Brooklyn, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... And here, he's all skinny. It took me a minute to realize, oh, snap, that's him. Yeah, he's really skinny. The glasses on. And the glasses. Skinny. And his posture is really different. You, yeah. you you take him. This guy, whenever he takes a role, I'm, I'm telling you, he is, he transforms into that person. It's really amazing. And I know he's done a lot of other work, but I'm just thinking about the ones that come off yeah. offhand. I know he plays a really good, uh, a really bad guy. But in The Strain, he was an awesome good guy. And... Here he is, a man that's looking for a cure for his wife. She has Alzheimer's, right? Yeah, she has Alzheimer's. And he basically takes Swamp Thing and... Again, I'm sorry for this. The spoiler alerts, like, guts him. Uh, he dissects him while he's still, I guess, for lack of a better term, alive and kicking. Yeah. And tells him, you're not a man, you're a plant that thinks he's a man. Here's the proof. You got to his uh, flower-powered organs. <laughs> so okay, so basically, he's thinking about it in a scientific way. He doesn't understand the power of the green, um, and it's basically the swamp, which has its own kind of. It's like it had its own consciousness. It has its own consciousness mixed in with Holland's. Uh, consciousness and now I think what the green did it, it, it put his consciousness into a, into itself and it gave him a body because Holland's dead his, his body died his, but they his body died but it, it, it basically they put his brain in a plant and they gave him a body so basically it's two consciousness basically you know without him 
um, according to the comments, because we don't know um, the story. According to the comics, if the consciousness leaves, what happens? It's just it's just basically a terrorizing animal or monster. Oh yeah. And what so. happened? Yeah, because I know you didn't read it. Yeah, I read it. Um, he basically needs to come back. So basically, he keeps that in check. So basically, they need to work together in order to protect the, I guess. The the swamp swamp slash environment, anything green. So, you know, um, I love the concept of that they can able to read the trees and um, the trees talk to them. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, I really wish that they would have given more about, besides the fact that um, I kind of feel like even though there was a toxin in the air, I also feel like the swamp had his own um, darkness to it. That was kept at bay, and because of the toxins and and it fed it. it fed it. Plus, also people, you know, like chopping down certain trees and stuff like that. I kind of felt like it was letting it loose. So the green, I think they were saying that the, the the green is basically like uh, it's like its own universe. It's its own what you call it. Mm-hmm, it, mm-hmm, it has yeah. good and it has evil, and the people kept uh, disturbing it and contaminating it. And feeding the darker side of it, mm-hmm. so now the darker side is wanting to take over and, and, and spreading. Yeah. And the, and the green part is like, no, that needs to stay. In, yeah. In check. Yeah, like that. Um, that one episode where that man was infested with something or a little bit of it, and he went into the swamp and died. Yeah. They're trying to keep that evilness inside that they let loose. Um. They, it, it, it's just, it's really good. I loved also the, I was also worried that it was going to look cheesy. I kind of was. Maybe that's why it's too expensive to maintain. That, that That's an expensive prosthetic or get up that he's wearing. Not only that, but I think the director from Aquaman is the same person that's doing that. The, uh, so, of course, he's going to be doing quality work. And I kind of thought that maybe that they were going to do some type of Aquaman um, spin off or something like, you know, not with, with Jason Momoa. No, I just I, I that's what I thought you when I like heard that guy. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I do, but that's not the point. The point is, it's just that I thought that they were going to do not one thing. I thought they were going to go into more like maybe anything else but that. Um, something was like the last thing. Um, actually, I thought maybe they may have. Um, was thinking about Constantine. You know, rebooting it using the same actor as. The one from NBC, um, but it's one thing. Um, the props were amazing. Um, the they costumes. Probably filmed, they probably filmed in the real swamp. No, there was a sound. There was a sound. What you call it? I think. There's probably a sound stage. I'm saying a lot of those scenes look real good. Well, like they were in an actual swamp. Yeah. If whether if, if that was a sound stage, then props to the sound guy. Or you know, the, I mean, the people. That the, set, that. the set. The uh, set. Designers, that's the word. Set designers, um, amazing job. The costumes themselves, um, pretty minimalistic, you know, because you're out in the swamp. You don't want, you know, like the dressing, the girls dressing up too, you know, simple. Um, but in terms of what Swamp Thing looks like, that budget blown. That was good. That he looked real, he looked wet. You <laughs> know. Um, the the CG looked amazing. Oh, for the Blue Demon. Blue Demon. Blue Demon. Blue also, Devil, Blue, excuse me, the Blue Devil. I'm, think, I'm thinking Blue Demon. The um, the way the plants, remember when that scene when the plants. Oh, yeah, the was plant, CG with the plants coming alive. Yeah. yeah, the plants coming alive, you know, exploding here, but like, you know. Um, just amazing. There was a lot of good scenes, and it just really was really awesome and it's gonna I'm gonna be honest with you guys it's gonna be really sad that it's going what do you think do you think that they should try I mean cause I heard the same thing about I Titans mean, they, they really left it in a place where they can keep going or they can leave it the way they left it it's not like there's more there's obviously more to the story mm-hmm. but the way they left it oh I have to stay here and protect protect the you know the, the, the swamp basically and she's like well I'm gonna stay here with you I'm gonna protect you. That's that's the gist I, mean, I got from it. Yeah, no, they kind of looked it in a good place, but there's so many unanswered questions. What is so special about Abby? 
what is her connection with the queen yeah. or even the evil and that, and that guy that gave the the zeroing character the the, the blue devil the yeah. blue devil thing powers there um you know the madam the the psychic what is her connection to all this what does she know um what else the sheriff and and her son the deputy what are they going to do now that you know now the son is still alive they dropped the ball on that one yeah and what is what is the the maria went cuckoo so she's done maria actually i think maria was helped by the the psychic too she made a cuckoo well not really cuckoo but nobody else could see her daughter so she's cuckoo to ease her peace. Um, what else? Uh, what happens when they find the sheriff? Oh, they're not going to find the sheriff. You don't think so? She's gone. People yeah. disappear in that swamp all the time, they said. True that. Because they didn't find the body of a lot of different people. Yeah, they didn't find Alec's body. <laughs> um, I wonder if Sutherland... Um, what, I kind of feel like he has like this really... Besides... This deep load and hatred. What do you think of he the swamp? Like the swamp. He he thinks the swamp owes him something. When his father was the one tr- went to cut down a a tree, and they told him not to. Even no. his son told him not to, and uh, and the swamp took him. Yeah. Got his revenge on him. That's why he hates the swamp. Oh, the swamp and then the swamp him. took his daughter. Do you think that it was purposely done? You know, mm. because he was polluting the swamp. Or do you think it was a darkness oh, trying yeah, to provoke him? The swamp him? did take his daughter, right? Because when they showed that she, when they jumped in, something grabbed her and dragged her in. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So You're making me think now. There's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of unanswered. What you call it? Even though, like you said, I mean, it is a good place to leave it, but I mean, I I still think that it deserves a second season. Oh yeah, definitely. Maybe we should uh, hashtag. Second season swamp thing. <laughs> no cancel. We, we should start a, <laughs> a trend uh, a hashtag tr- thing. Hashtag. I'll figure out a hashtag out. Uh, hashtag. We more, uh, we want, okay. more swamp thing. More swamp thing. Yeah. Hashtag they, more they, swamp they, thing. They for Lucifer. Hey. It never, you it never worked. know. They got, what? They're going to get one more season out of it. Yeah. Which is canceled. awesome. They got two more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they left it. They left it horrible. They really did. They really did. I don't know, like, I feel like, um, I don't know, like, I feel like DC is not really getting the love, you know? Well, think about it, I mean, they're not as popular as Marvel, when it comes to the, to the big movies and and, and uh, TV shows. I mean, yeah, I grew up watching Superman and Batman. Well, but... a lot of would disagree with you because they they do have a lot of. They have the Batman. They have the Superman. They have. Yeah, but they didn't have. It's not. They didn't start those movies like all the other Marvel movies start. Marvel Studios or Marvel this, Marvel whatever the case is. Even though I know now Disney owns most of Marvel stuff, and then there's Marvel something that's separate, but. It would let you know this is part of our universe, Marvel, and then you know that comic book thing. Well, the DC movies, oh, or this DC universe movies like Batman, they just start with the Warner Brothers sign, like any other Warner Brothers production. Well, when you see Warner Brothers, you think DC, I think, oh, because no. they were heavily, well, they were heavily what you call it. They they basically. When I see Warner Brothers, I think uh, Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. Uh, yeah, see what I have to put up with. Um, I think Superman, I think Batman, I think Wonder Woman. I know that Wonder Brothers created, you know, not created, but they are backing the DC Universe. And that they make the best films that they possibly can. Are some of the castings a little off? Yes. Um, you know, uh... But as far as Swamp Thing, I think the casting is right on the money. Everybody was amazing and great to watch. Um, the drama was really good. The fight scenes were good. 
Um, there were some scenes that were dark, but not too terribly dark, so that you could still see the action. Yeah, that sucks when you can't see what's going on. Um, there was a lot of mystery. There was a lot of intrigue. I definitely 100% felt like I was definitely waiting for the Friday to come around. So um, I think that we should hashtag more Swamp Thing. <laughs> more Swamp Thing. More Swamp Thing. More Swamp Thing. Anything else you want to add about the show? No. No? Okay. Well, I guess we're going to end this here, folks, and tell you thank you so much for listening, and thank you, Mr. David San Jose, my co-host on Life, for joining me on today's show. You're welcome. And uh, don't forget, guys, um, even though he hasn't posted a lot of videos as of late, David is a YouTuber, and he... I haven't posted nothing in a minute. He will be posting soon. It just we just gotta find the time, and I gotta stop hogging up his uh, tripod. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Um, yeah, we're just having a lot of uh, tripod issues. Technical difficulties. Seriously, oh, I gotta refix my setup, guys. It's it's a hot mess, but anyways. Um, all right. So what else is going on that I need to say? So working on the blog. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Um, don't forget to hit that like, I mean, the scri- subscribe and like button. And uh, if you guys have any more comments or questions, you can always email me. My email address is Eileen at EileenLittleCrafter.com. And I will leave the links to David's channel, my channel, and everything else down below. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.